the computers are manufacturing. They lost that system, lost that system, the computers are manufacturing side. What happens when the computers are manufacturing? We are analyzing the data of it, drawn by modeling, design simulation, design analysis, design optimization, design review, evaluation, automated graphing. So these are things. So what we are doing for many slides. What is the job in money? We want to create, we want to create, we want to find the radio object, okay? We want to create a model, okay? The model will be analyzed, okay? The model will be analyzed and finally it is optimized also and goes for the production side, okay? So that is the thing. First we are going to say job type modeling. What is the job type modeling means? We have to frame the structure, okay? So we have to frame the structure of the product. So for that we have three types. Wireframe modeling, surface modeling, and solid modeling. Okay, wireframe, surface, and solid modeling. Wireframe modeling. What is the wireframe modeling? What is the wireframe modeling? We are in the we are in the bias. We are able to find out the skeleton of the object. Okay, so skeleton of the object. Okay, skeleton of the object. The bias of the object. That means bias means edges. Okay, not a surface. A not a thickness, not a width. A it means we can able to find this kind of object. A so this kind of object means what is object? This object is called a small bell. So if you want to make a wireframe modeling, what are you going to do? You can able to find this edge, this edge, and back side this edge, and this edge. That's all. And from the top view, you are able to find the circle. And from the bottom, you can able to find the circle. That is called as a wireframe modeling. A so if you come to surface modeling, yes. For example, so what happens? We have two edges. We are having two edges. Okay. We are having two edges. The two edges will be joined by some surfaces. Either maybe flat surface, or either maybe contours like this, or either maybe curved surfaces. Again, others maybe some offsets like this. We are having some offsets like this. Again, so that is called as two edges will both will be joined by some surfaces. It's called as a surface modeling. Okay. And coming to solid modeling, yes. What do you mean by solid modeling? For example, yes, we are in the disk and two edges, we are in surfaces. Again, for example, I want this is the object. This is the object, again, we are in the edges and back there is some surfaces of that, okay, some locked surfaces or some contours. Again, that is solid modeling, for example, this is the thing, but I want to extrude this thing like this. Again, what happens? From wireframe and solid surface modeling, we are able to find the structure to surface. But what happens? We are not able to find the width and thickness. Yes, we can able to find width and thickness, but what happens? Not in a perfect way. Okay. So in the wireframe surface modeling, yes, we can able to wireframe. We can able to find the skeleton again, and the skeleton will be filled by some surfaces. Again, what are the product prepared? That is called surfaces. And if it's the same thing, to some to some extent, that is called solid modeling. Okay. What happens in solid modeling? We wait and analyze. There are three types: constructive solid geometry, boundary integration, feature-based modeling, and parametric modeling. These are the types of solid modeling. Okay, and we want to manufacture the product. Okay, we have to analyze. We have to diagnose what type of what, what type of solid modeling is suitable for our product design. Okay, we have to analyze and then find. We have to select the modeling. Okay, coming to general modeling. Coming to and wireframe modeling, what is the topology and what is the geometry? Okay, in this slide you can able to find what is the topology and what is the geometry. Okay, first, before going to wireframe modeling, you have to say, you have to define what is the topology and geometry. Okay, so this two figures you can able to find what is the difference between topology and geometry. So if you come in this first diagram, what happens? We have the two diagrams, okay, but same geometry but with a different topology. Same geometry means you can able to say, yes, the length is that. Like is that the length is this height and this is the width. Okay, and then we have the same circle and same radius, same point. Okay, what happens? Same geometry. For example, this is a what is the diameter? What is the circle diameter? Or what is this half the radius? Okay, and then what is this length? What is the height? All the things are same. What happens? Topology. What is the same geometry? But topology means topology means what is the topology? Surface. Topology means surface. Surfaces. Yeah. Surfaces may be okay. But here we can able to find the same topology. That means same surface. But what happens? Geometry means. Geometry means we can able to find 
okay, it is equivalent to some angle of 35 degree or 40 degree. Okay. So what happens? It is not like that. It is in the flat surface, but it is equivalent to some angle which is from the flat surface. Okay. So what happens? We are having the same geometry, the same here we are having the same geometry, but different topology. Here the same topology, but with a different geometry. Okay. So what happens? It is a VI. If you going to come into point inside, we have to, as an engineer, okay, as an engineer, as a production manager, as a manufacturer, we have to develop different types of entities. Okay. So we are not able to find a single entity. Okay. If you want to manufacture grand stuff, what happens? If you want to manufacture propellant stuff, what happens? There are so many bearings of that, there are static rods of that, piston is that, or some nuts and bolts of that, okay, and push rods of that, so many rods of that. Okay. What happens? There are different types of entities in a single object. What happens? So you have to select the best entity for each and every object. That means entity means what I'm saying that you have to make different types of design, okay? You have to make different types of design and you have to say which design. Okay, leads to the non fail safe circle. That means it leads to fail safe circle. Okay, fail safe circle. What is a fail safe circle? What is a fail safe system? Fail safe system means what is a fail safe system? For example, if we take a, if we take a tipper lorry, okay, if you take a tipper lorry, can you can able to find this tipper lorry from Tata also? There are so many things. Uh, Table also there is a tipper lorry. Bar, I can find the bench, bar of bench, tipper lorry. Tata, Tata, so grand also there is a tipper lorry. Then what is the major difference between Tata and so grand? I will find the leader, tipper lorry. I will find the bus. We come in, we go into North India. We can able to find so many for so many Tata buses. We come in South India. We can able to find so many Assam Grand buses. What is the difference between that thing? Not a design. So we the price is uh, different. We have said that if you take the Asura Grand Tata, we have the difference of place around 0.5 lakhs, 60 lakhs, 60,000. If you give the same bulk orders, yes, they are ready to give the same price. But what's the problem? Sustainable. Which sustainability means? It's good in. Sustainability is good in Leyland or Tata? Tata. Tata. Still, you are going to be I mean, not me, I was saying that, but I'm not going to represent. Sir, Ashok Leland is good, sir. 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 Noise engine. Noise engine, yes. Exactly right. Tata's engine is little bit below, so it's noise good. Okay. And they find the buses in Ashok. If they find two buses, what happens? If you take Ashok Leland, what happens? That means it occupies the more, more space in the buses. And if you take the Tata engine, and finally what happens? The engine is, the means it is little off of that of the engine. That's the thing. Second thing. What is it exactly called? It creates more noise. And thermally it will be too high and compared to the of the But what happens? Why this heat is generating? Why this heat is generating? Engine is flat. That's all. Okay, some engine is in back side. I can even understand. But if you are coming to North India, most of the engines are in back side. No? Right, right. Right, right. Have you gone to Tripoli? I want to Tripoli. So in Tripoli, the means the Devata, Tripoli, TT Devata, Tripoli, Tripoli Devata, I have quite the buses, so many buses. What the, what the, what is the, what the, what the engine they are proposing? Tata or Nenea? Are you sure? Tata only. Tata only. Tata only. You can able to find small space. Why? Why they are providing Tata? That's all. Tata. Yes, they are providing Tata only. The bread cut down only. More capacity. More capacity. If you find the cut down, that means if you find the cut down, if you have a cut down engine, you cannot have any flexibility. But also, what happens is flexibility is not possible. But what happens is you can able to use more number of tops. I find that if any one vehicle is going, going in the hill stations, hill stations, I will find that which vehicle, which engine is they providing. For example, the trucks are okay, the truck, we are in the truck, the truck is carrying around 10 vehicles or 12 vehicles. Okay, the transferring from here Sri Kapur to Burga or some other Gujarat, some Gujarat stations, or they want to transfer to Uti, how it is possible? Trailers. 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 Trailers engine belongs to? Take the trucks or trailers open maybe. Okay? When you try to justify, try to find the things. If we are in two trucks, 
One is belong to lion and another is belong to Tata. You can if you go if you go to Sibamu side, you can able to find more number of lorries. Some of the lorries belong to Tata engines, some of the lorries belong to lion engines. If that lion engines what happens, you can able to listen more number of thought. That means if it if it, if it travels in the hill stations, what happens? Yes, you can able to listen. That means you can the dog can able to listen to the engine. If you take Tata means what happens? Yes, it's also can able to stand. But at some instant what happens? We cannot able to, that means it will be, it will not, it will not able to get the stability. Okay, that's a major problem. Okay, the blind line what happens, you can able to get some of the car. But what happens, more entry is there, more noise is there, and it will drop away some more space, and you're not able to get the flexibility. Okay, so if you see the TD there was some Tripoli, what happens? The driver, the driver can able to, the driver can able to, the driver can easily steal the vehicle. Okay, flexibility is there. But in Tata, what happens? Driver can give more effort. Are you finding or not? In the ordinary, in the ordinary buses. Okay. So I don't, I can't able to find the most of the buses here. But what happens if I find in my entity there are so many buses are there? Most of us are operating in the lion. Why? You can able to listen more talk. Okay. Buses are almost loaded, overloaded. And secondly, what happens? Okay, that is more safe. You cannot able to listen. Give more steering as I did as driver's flexibility. If it is that means what happens? More number of actions reach, more number of actions. Okay, it leads to more number of accidents. Okay. Anyway, so what happens? So the same topology but geometry is different. Okay, sir. We coming to story development of geometry modeling. First one is wireframe modeling. The same thing is also covered by MIT professors. Okay, MIT guys. What happens in 1963? They developed a wireframe modeling. Okay, they developed the computer graphic systems. They developed some softwares. Okay, it was invented in MIT and slowly, slowly evolved. Okay. In the of the surface modeling and solid modeling. What happens? In 1963 they are introduced and they are used in the general models, GM models. Okay. So, we come into the second history in 1967. Okay. They developed the surface modeling. Surface modeling is launched again by the same in the MIT, so the MIT models. And slowly in the of the solid modeling with some configurations. First one is solid geometry, so it is boundary demonstration. And slowly future modeling and finally this is the parametric modeling. Okay. So what happens? We have different types of modelings. We have different types of modelings in solid modeling itself. In solid, if you come into solid modeling, there are there are four years, there are four, what happens? There are four inventions with respect to constructing solid geometry, boundary indication, future modeling, and parametric modeling. Okay, all the things are going to see in the solid modeling. First, we come into fire modeling. So in this in this style you can able to fly. Okay. This way you can able to find the, for example, this object. Okay, what happens? We have so many objects, but what happens? We can able to explore into separate object with a wireframe structures. Can you know what it, why the name is good for wireframe only? What is the wireframe only? You can able to say that is that is help of the wires. Am I correct? So you can able to show the, you can able to imagine the, or you can able to explore the explore explore the object with help of the wires. Am I correct? Why the name is given for why the name why the name wireframe is given to the wireframe uh, only wireframe we can able to see the object of the frames okay but what happens in the olden days before it introduced in 1967 in MIT what happens in conventional days the engineers okay the engineers what happens to make a design with help of the wire flexible wires only okay so what happens if you want to develop, for example, as a system engineer, I want to show them my plan to the, okay, to my plan, my plan, my plan to the builders or some other person, okay, in order to come to this, what happens? Yes, the plan can be shown in the help of the what? In the help of the flexible wires. Before that, I will show matching sticks. I will show matching sticks. Matching sticks, okay. In order to do it long like this, okay, they can, they, they develop the, Land with the problem matching sticks only. And slowly it is developed to wire flexible wires. What wire means? It can be either flexible, for example, so I don't know, I need not like this beam like that, like this. I need not, I need not the frame like this. I want the frame like this means yes, we have the flexibility, so we can not we are not for the wire frame modeling. Okay. What happens? The wire frame modeling, yeah, so this is the object. What happens? We can separate so many frames, which is easily feasible and can able to understand for the engineers. Okay. So the means single entities can be different, can be differentiated into 
difference can be different data can be categorized into different entities. But what happens? It is possible in some extent only. It is possible in some extent only. For example, okay, think of it. The, 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 this, is, this is a not a complicated surface. Okay, to take the complicated surface, we cannot be able to split the frames. So many frames. Okay. So if it is a complex surface, for example, the eye quantus like this, the eye quantus like this, the eye quantus like this, in the, in the thing, in the block central, we are the section like this. That is called as we cannot say that this is a feature. Okay? So we have so many features. How we can able to, so if we have so many features, okay, and with this all uh, what happens if we accept this object, if we categorize into single entity, how we can able to show these features? In this frame. That's a little bit confusing is that whether this feature comes to this side and the for example. What happens? This feature will get into the two parts and the left side comes to the side and the right side comes to the side means what happens? You cannot you cannot even understand. So what happens to open this problem away, they are separate from biofilm on into slowly surface modeling and to soil model. Again, so what happens? A simple object is not a problem. If it is a complete object, it is quite difficult to split all the things and ensure in the wireframe model. Again, that's the thing they are saying. Again, store the questions or lines in 2D and 3D. Again, 2D and 3D, but helpful for drafting. Again, easy for views. You can never understand. But if it is monitor structure, for example, I want to construct my uh, house. Okay, with two bedrooms, three bedrooms, one thousand square feet. Okay, we can able to put in the drawing with two D or three D. There for the wireframe model. For example, I want to construct the block. I want to construct the multi-storey building as like B A D. Is it possible to uh, to show it in the wireframe model? I find it under under block one. Scale model. model is there. Why they propose the scale model? If you why if, if, if they are keep it in the Wi-Fi morning, what happens? I confuse is that. Okay, we're not able to understand. Okay. Okay, for better understanding proposal, we're going for the soil model. Okay. Yes, that's the thing is that. So wireframe frame only, that is so it needs to stage the developer bias and it's also flexible. Okay. So what happens in the over 96 and referred as a state figure or on age representation or in Bound indication. Okay. So the bound indication means I'm saying that this is a bound or edges. Okay. So why are we related to the fact that one may imagine a wire that is bent to follow the object edges to generate a model? For example, an eye is like the chamfering like this. Okay. The object is not like this. Some chap chamfering object is like this. So is it possible to view the this object? The form of like this. It is possible to extrude this object like this. If you have chamfering operations like this or some contact operations like this, not possible. No. Okay. If it is a regular surface, if it is a flat surface, yes, we can able to see. For example, an angle the contours like this. An angle the contours like this. And the thickening is like this. Okay. Is it not possible? Okay. And parallel the purpose is like this. So it's possible. Not possible by frame model. Okay. So some irregular contours or undefined contours or undefined profiles. Undefined, not undefined profile, irregular profile. You have to say an irregular profile. You are not able to extrude the things, not able to explode in the wire frame model. Okay. It's somewhat difficult. Possible, it's somewhat difficult. And even though if you extrude, if you develop the wire frame model, it's very difficult to you to understand from your concept. Okay. So that's the thing. So what are the drawings proposed from your side? It's easy to understand from other point of view also. Okay. So from your point of view, from your point of view, you can able to you already analyze the thing, okay, and you can able to extrude the draw, extrude the you can able to draw the diagram. Okay. So in, if you visit the company, we are in, we are having one, we are having separate, separate. If you take any manufacturing company, we are in one section. What section? Drawing section or drafting section? What is it? Drafting or drawing section? What happens? Fit. Yes. 
there are so many boils, for example, take the process of the space, okay, and boilers are there, or 10 boilers are there, okay, all the boilers diagram will be kept in the, will be kept in the, in the some software diagram, will be kept, all the diagrams will be converted to software as, in software diagrams, okay, for example, if you have any problem, in boiler, there are thousand components of that, if you have any problem, all they can do to find the problem, the conventional boiler, nowadays, most of the boilers come in this with automatic side, automatic side, but if you come in conventional boilers, what happens? They will take all the diagram. Before once the boiler is installed, before starting the boiler, the guards man, two or three persons enter into the boiler and project all the things and put it in the drawing form. Okay? And if you find any problem, the boiler will shut down. After two to three days, the boiler will be opened and again the guardsman will enter into the boiler and take all the pictures and that pictures will become part of the standard pictures and again able to say this is the major problem. That means this part leads to problem and this part leads to problem. Okay? They can able to take the diagram, or otherwise they can able by seeing themselves they can able to say they, they have a measurement tape, they they, they measure all the things and try to compare the standards, define thing, and they, they have to say yes, this is a problem, this is a problem, or this part is next to a problem. Okay, so what happens is uh, this is possible wireframe modeling. Okay, and these are examples of wireframe modeling. Okay, coming to surface modeling, the same thing is that what happens. We will get some surfaces. We will get some surfaces. Okay. So what happens? But we will not be able to get a size of that. We will not be able to get a volume, but we will be able to get surfaces. Here, what I am saying is material volume information is ambiguous. Okay. It's not possible. Okay. And difficult to determine okay, the surface model. That's the thing we are going for solid model. You can able to project the surface, but you cannot be able to say what is the. Uh, you cannot be able to say. For example, if you take the VAT, VAT, master plan, in the master plan you can able to find the 4 plus or 5 plus, am I correct? 4 stitch, 4 horizontal, 4 horizontal models, am I correct? Four. If you take the ASCO automatic, you can able to find 4 horizontal models, am I correct? So, what happens? We act like this, it just like this, okay? If you take the master plan, what happens? This is filled by the surface and there are some, some holes. Yeah, it will be some surface and some and some Am I correct? Okay. But, or I will get the proper information. What is the, okay, okay. For example, take this, this window. This window comes to, this window comes to, this window comes to what extent? I will write down. Is it possible or not? In the surface morning, okay. So, we are in the edges. They are already the fire morning is that. It is connected by the surface morning. We are in some surfaces. Some regular surfaces or some irregular surfaces, we have some profiles and surfaces, but we can able to find what is the length of width we can able to find, but how long is the extent, how long is the extent to this some extent? We can able to find is not possible. Okay, that is possible in solid modeling. Okay. Okay, sir. So it stores the equation surfaces, that means it stores the it can project the surfaces, okay, in respect to the boundary, or respect to spread, or respect to edges. So most of the 3D graphics slide is in surface modeling. Okay. So in 2D, 3D is also possible in wireframe modeling. But what happens? Wireframe modeling, wireframe 3D modeling is quite difficult without surfaces. Okay. If you project the model in the surfaces, if you project the 3D model in the surface, yes, you can able to understand. Yes, you can able to understand. Okay. So what happens? You take the plan like this. Okay. We have the awesome plan. That's all. With this, that, with this, that. And we have the some lines like this. You can able to understand what thing is that. As a civil you can able to understand. But as a general person, you cannot able to watch thing is going on. Again, for that, if you give some surfaces like this, and it's filled by like this, means what happens? Yes, this is a window. Okay, we can able to analyze this. We can able to diagnose this is a window. Again, okay? so what happens? The same thing is that. But the entire thing will be achieved with the solid modeling. Okay. We can able to get some rough script, uh, rough script here. Okay. So good, good for visualizing complex surfaces. What I am saying that here, good for visualizing complex surfaces. What I am saying that the basic, the basic point is yes, you can able to diagnose the wireframe modeling. If you compare it to complex surface, it's somewhat difficult in surface modeling. Okay, the complex surface, the same complex surface will be analyzed by solid modeling. Yes, you can able to understand. The common person can able to understand. Okay, but what happens if you come to the wireframe modeling? Somewhat is easy. Okay, and rather coming to surface modeling, 
better. But if you come into the soil model, yes, you can able to analyze what's going on. In, for example, if you take a product, leave this building, if you take a product, the single product, the single bearing, again, okay, you have the gasket, okay, you have the process for the gasket, there are so many options that are the single product. Okay, so if you want to project the thing, that was the diagram one, that should be understood by the customers or some other persons. Okay? So if you come to the manufacturing side, okay, what happens is you have to propose the surface model in soil model. Okay? So in surface modeling, you the surface modeling, you are not able to calculate what is the volume. Okay? That's a major problem, that's a major limitation. And if going into the solid modeling, yes, it will be it will be overcome by the solid point. Surface modeling is a set of phases and it consists of wireframe entities. Okay? We have entities like this, we have the boundaries, and these are boundaries are filled by the surfaces. Okay? So, okay, the wireframe model can be extended from the surface model by deleting or blanking all surface entities. For example, so wireframe, if you delete the surfaces, if you delete the surfaces, you will get the wireframe. Okay? It means it is nothing but it is a wireframe model. Okay? What happens the shape, design, and indication of the complex objects such as car, ship, and aeroplane bodies as well as castings will be indicated as a surface model. And I don't, I mean, I will find out what is the, we can able to find so many cars. Am I correct? The sub to itself, there are two versions of that. What is the difference between two versions? So that, in sub to itself, what is the sub to design? Yes, sir. Sub to design is sports car and sudden car, sir. Okay, I'm not asking. Sub, we have two types of subs. Between before 2012, we are in one After 2012, we are in one The same car, but two models. Why? Aerodynamic model. What is the difference of aerodynamic model? Bad. 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 Even though we can able to, in the new version, you can able to find more number of three of the three spaces, the bin spaces, but in one of the spaces less. But if you come into asking in style, what happens? The look is good in the older version model. Okay, now survey is done by the array, automatic research also done the Pune, and it says that, okay, most of the people are liking the older version compared to the new version. Okay, that's the thing is the Pune. Okay, boss. So, with respect to the same design, we can able to differentiate by the same meaning, same procedures. Nothing will be there. Nothing will be there except the aerodynamic difference of the aerodynamic model. Okay? Nothing will be there except the difference of the aerodynamic model. In 2013, they have moved to K series engine. Okay? In 2012 to 13, the old engine, the field engine itself. Okay? In 2013 only, they have moved to K Jetronic engine. What is the K Jetronic engine? We have three types of engines here L Jetronic, K Jetronic, K E Jetronic. Papa. 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 Okay, so I think so you already discussed with the base. Uh, in this systems, in this system is under all the ways. Okay. So okay, we can we have time and discuss all this well as. So it used to be separated, same model are now incorporated into solid models. Okay, what happens? There were surface models, okay. So if you develop a surface, yes, you can able to extrude means, yes. If you allow to surface, okay. And show it to the customer and customer satisfied means, for example, I want to have I want to construct a multi storage building. Further, what happens? The constructor or the developer will develop the first sketch again. If you show a plan, it is not easy to understand. What happens? They will develop some prototype models and show it to the, and show it to the uh, customers and try to get the satisfaction from the customers. If not, the customer, so not the customer says that I need not the window like this, I need the window like this. I need not the small window, I need the big window, the two offs. Just like that, which a plan can be changes, then for the surface body and solid body. Okay. The classification surface body, flat surface, sculpture surface, analytical surface, and combination of the types. Okay, this is called as a sculpture surface. That means somewhat what happens? Baby. What? Baby. 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 Yeah. Baby. Okay. You can able to find so many surfaces. These are common entities using softwares. What happens is a flat surface or plain surface, spine surfaces, again, okay. some irregular spines, again, okay. some irregular spines, locked surfaces, we say the locked surfaces, surfaces, offset surfaces, again, okay. same surface will be extruded here, 
the surface of collision that like the job, gain and bone patch, pain and quebrated surfaces. We can able to find the surface like this, like this. Like we can able to find the top roof of the top roof gain and pallet. Some design gain busier surface. It's like some busier surfaces. This also busier surface. This is used for top roofs for aesthetic and style. Am I correct? I will find in the way of the pathway from here to Sakurma. Yeah, I will find, I will, I will observe it. It goes like this. After that, it comes like this. Somewhat bended, and again it comes to not flat, somewhat inclination. Okay, what happens? See, same structure and somewhat inclination. Somewhat, actually, it comes like this. What happens? Same structure, somewhat inclination. Why? Why you are not able to like this? Why they are going for this type of structures? Why you are not able to propose this type of structure? This is very simple. Why? I want to gain pink urgency. I want to put the urgency. Since what is the weight loss? 95. 95 is very less. Okay. So we have to pick the 95 person's weight. So possible, can I pick the person? Yes, it is. Somewhat, somewhat extent it is possible. Okay. But what happens? I am picking the urgency and placing the other side. Similarly, I am taking the other same urgency from this side to this side. Yes, it is possible for how much times? It is possible how much times? Yeah. On 10 cycles, 10 cycles, until my, until fitting, until my arm reaches to fitting. After I go next to what happens? I put it as you saying from second floor to ground floor. Am I correct? So what happened? The same things happened in that robot. Okay, if the if I have a model, okay, so we have the arm joints, links, all these studies, all these are studying the robotics lab, the robotic side. What happens? Each of them, each of this is called a small link one, link two, joint, joint, wrist. Again, okay. so what happens? This is the wrist and fingers. Again, okay. what happens? All things are connected with the joints. What type of joints? Whether the what type of joints means actuators. What type of actuators? Electrical actuators or hydraulic actuators. Again, okay. if you take the electrical actuators, if you take a separate motor. Okay, I, I am taking separate motor of 10 kg top. Okay, that top you have to make a design. That separate motor of 10 kg top. Okay, can able to withstand how much load? You have make analysis. Okay, for example, I am starting, I am, I am putting in a 10 kg of 10 kg top motor, 10 kg top stepper motor. Okay, and I am picking the load of 10 kg. Is it possible? Is it possible? Since I can able to think, can able to think of it, I am a, a 95 kg person. I am picking Arjun Singh in his hand, of both hands. How much times I can able to to Arjun Singh from this point and that point? To some extent, okay? So what happens? My torque is, my torque load is 10 kgf. What happens if I pick the payload of 10 kgf, okay? And if repeat the actions continuously for 100 times or 1000 times, at one extent what happens? This torque will be automatically reduced. Am I correct? I will, I will take a motor. I will take a motor. So you can able to find the shaft in the motor, am I correct? Just you can rotate for 50 times, 60 times. What happens? At one action, what happens? The shaft will be rotated, but you are not able to find that much of grip. That's true now. So if you take a motor, just you can rotate, just you can rotate. The can take 3 kg torque of motor, stepper motor, and rotate the motor for 50 times or 60 times, 100 times. At one action, what happens? You cannot able to, that means what happens? You cannot able to get that much of grip. If you cannot do that much of grip, what happens? There is chance for slipping. Okay? Same thing is happening in robotics at also. Okay, what happens? So I want to pick, I want to pick the object of 10 kg, then I can able to use the motor here is 2 kg delta or 18 kg delta. Because I want to pick the object and place the object for 1000 times or 1 lakh times, again okay, around 360 days in a year. What happens for that? I have to design, I have to incorporate the motor of okay. I have got the motor torque of around 10 kg, 20 kg, then only there is no chance of slipping and where you can able to pick the object from this point to this point. Same thing is that, okay. So if you make a design, if you want to 
make a robot design, you have to think of this thing. Okay? You have to think you have to take the characteristics of the motor and this could be talk and you have to make it design. Okay. So what happens similarly, okay, the solid motor is also <coughs> having some characteristics. Okay, what happens? Solid motors can able to okay, analyze what is the volume with respect to volume, how much volt is actually this side, this side, okay, and simultaneous sides. Whether that design, whether the model can able to withstand the load, whether the model can able to join the other mode or not. For example, we have so many models, am I correct? So we have so first round four, first four, second four, third four, four, six, four. We have four bins. Okay, around 2005, most of the company is this annexed this this floor. What happened? This side, whether that took, whether yeah, that beam can able to withstand around 2500 persons load? Can able to say? So if you make, if you want to make it this type of, if you want to make it this type of this side, what happens? I can able to find how much force of that, and how much force, how much beams of that. Okay, and what is the maximum capability of students accommodated in the classroom? So there are two problems in that. So 2 into 2 is 60, 60, 120, 120 into 10 force, 1200 students. So this side, I want to accommodate minimum 1200 students at maximum, just you can think of it, double. Okay, so 2400 students, I want to make a design for minimum 1200 students, minimum. I want to make a design of two. Maximum two thousand four hundred students. Okay, load can able to withstand this part of the beam. Get this. So further, I want to make it. I want to make a model. Okay, I want to make a volume, and I, the load is applied from top side or some sides. What happens? That beam can able to withstand the load. Okay. So what happens for that? The beam can able to withstand the load means. So for that beam, height should be like this, volume should be like this, thickness should be like this. Okay. So we can able to predict. So with the respect of the respect of the prediction only, we are going for the construction. For example, okay. The same thing is happening here. <laughs> Soil models can be used for what are the reasons? What a female generations, pollution generations, robotics or NC path generations. What are the FE? What are the fine element? Can anybody say what is the fine element? What is the fine element analysis? Uh, to break down uh, one particular element. Yeah, same thing is that. Yeah, exactly correct. Exactly correct. Find that we have to separate the segments into different segments, different fine elements, and we have to, okay, we have to make analysis. What I have to make analysis with respect to mathematical derivation, and we have to make a predict. Yes, this is going on to be, this is going to be happen. If this is going to happen, what are things we have to consider for design? We have to make a correction to design side itself, okay? We can, I will find one thing is that in last, uh, last, uh, last, uh, Last semester, one top news is that in Hollywood, on top, on top, on the top, around what is the storage of what is multi storage building? I think it is multi storage building. Around 15 floors of that, what happens? 15 floors of that, they make a design, or they make a design, and they propose a model to respect that model only. They evaluated the, they evaluated the, they evaluated the building, but what happens? At one stage, it collapsed. Why? What is the reason? Even though small workers are only working in this around 8 floors, around 60, around 1000, around 60, 70 workers are working in the building, all the, all the guys are buried in the sand. Why? Can you able to say why? Structure. Yes, it is Paka analyzed. Analyzed, constructed, respond to that analysis only, and partly that. That soil is also good. Foundation. Foundation also somewhat good. Local. The foundation is respond to lake soil. Yes, they find that they take the things and they center this lake soil. This good luck soil. They do somewhat in depth foundation. What some major problem is in the ground floor. Okay, in the underground, in the ground floor. That means the ground floor is for parking in Chennai. What I mean. Okay, in Chennai parking. Okay, they are limited. They are given only the limited parking for the tenants. For the builders, for example, in that building, they consider around 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000 apartments, okay, not 1000, 1000 houses, 500 houses. So, what they can able to provide only 150 parking facilities, 150 persons can able to account, can able to account, can able to accommodate, okay. But what happens for that they are charging, okay, for that they are charging 
square meter for the square meter is 5 rupees or 1000 rupees whatever it may be so 150 guys at the time of initially it's initially at the time of the opening itself they moved and they got the parking after some extent, the extent the amenities also need parking what happens okay they have some big beam okay they have some big beam <coughs> what happens so for to improve the parking stage they removed two beams central beams they think that it will not be happen anything okay they have removed the beams central beams okay by making a building yes it is possible for that they provide a support they provide various supports okay and it's possible we can able to distribute the load to some extent i know that one technology is coming here the channel is already came but it's not it's not up to level it's already came we can able to lift the house from one side to another side by making a jockey by providing a jockey yes it is possible the same thing they think of it and they try to distribute the load to some other extent but it's failed okay and finally what happens there are about three beams Okay, that one person is from Sandi, ma'am. Sandi, she is from IIT Chennai. She is also in that peer review committee, and she also think, let's put it technically, they write a report. In that report, was they remove the three beams. The three beams load will be distributed to someone next time, but it's not properly distributed. That's the thing. All loads are acted, and finally, the store collapsed. Okay, think of it. Okay, they make a, they make a design, a car design. Okay, sir. So what happens? <laughs> The entire building will be distributed into five different sets or elements, and you have to make analysis. Okay, see, we have one problem in one structure, one side. So, if you have a problem on one side, all the loads will be distributed here, and finally, the entire building is collapsed. Okay, so we have to segregate the segments, segregate the elements from several elements, and we have to make a test. And if we made any changes in the single element, we have to think of the all the elements. Okay, that all the elements are depending upon single element. We have to think of any any problems of that okay any modifications of that okay if we change any modify if we, if we have any problem whether there is any, uh, all the elements are depending upon this element whether we have to face any problem or we have to make analysis okay so so what happens we have to solve all this support just using the volume information using the volume information only we can able to carry some analysis what if i miss some analysis miss what if i miss And if it feels and if fine, it is feasible, then it go for uh, solid modeling by incorporating thickness and giving the volume. Again, we can go for the analysis. Okay, yes. So, we can volume calculations, centroids, moment of inertia calculations, you have to carry all the calculations, okay, before sorting structure itself. And stress analysis, okay, heat analysis. Sometimes, yes, it is possible. So, you leave the building, you come into the middle side. I mean, the material side, if we take aluminum, what is the maximum temperature of aluminum? Can you able to say? What is the maximum temperature of aluminum? Steel. What's the one? Under degree centigrade. Okay. Okay, if you take a rubber. Endless. Yes. Very less. less. Okay. So you know what happens? Each level will start with certain temperature and certain stiffness strength. Okay. What happens if we take a material? What happens even though if we take a material, the material will be heated, pre-treated in some other conditions. Okay. And finally, it comes to the practical application side. If we take sheet metal, what happens? The sheet metal we can take we are putting sheet metal and sheet metal is process boring is process happening, a forging is happening. And finally, it is fitted as the cost. That means cost out of frame. But before the preparation model, what happens? That material will be again okay, carried on some analysis. Will be carried on the pre-treatment analysis. Okay. What happens? <laughs> that materials each and every each and every will have the temperature. The software itself will be having the production. If you take aluminium and if you apply the heat, okay, for example, 
For example, I want to apply the heat. That means uh, we can able to make a thermal analysis with respect to the material itself. For example, we are inserting material 1 with respect to the aluminium, material 2 is steel, material 3 will be, for example, rubber. Okay? And I want to fuse all the materials. Again, okay, I want all and I want to fuse all the materials. If you can able to find we are in two beams, am I correct? This beam. We have to find L set, am I correct? So this beam and this beam will be joined. In the between two beams, you can able to find one material. Rubber. Am I correct? Rubber. Am I correct? Rubber. So from the rubber, you can able to find what's going on there. That is for? That is for? Observing vibrations. That is a dampers. So in between these two beams, we have some springs. We can able to find the springs in the dam, in the bridge. I find, yes. I find it, yes. but it will, it will be closed. But in between the two packs, we have some springs. Again, another two packs, we have springs. Okay, as well, we have springs. The springs will be covered by the rubbers. Okay, what happens here in the eighth floor? Okay, in that pack, in that joint, okay, we can able to find the water is coming outside. Am I correct? We can able to find water droplets are coming outside and this creates some unwanted moisture contents. Okay, what happens? What happens? If water, if more water is there, what happens? That material, that spring. What is the material spring? I don't know. So, what if you think of it steel? You can able to withstand some some. You can able to withstand some maximum tension. Maximum tension, not tension. Maximum tension is that if the if the metal is said to be corroded, what happens? The stiffness of spring will be reduced. Automatically, what happens? The observing the vibrations will be reduced. And finally, what happens? It will the, that vibrations will be transferred to the structure, and we are so it will be drilled slowly around stain after 10 years of 10 days. The beam, which is strangely near to the rubber spring, leads to the Okay, so that type of structure is that for example. What happens? Yes, we have to make all the analysis. Okay, so we have two structures. These two structures will be joined by some rubbers or some rubber materials. Okay, so it will be covered by entire rubber. What happens in the eighth floor? The water rubbers are flowing in the rubber and it is exposed to temperature. What happens? The rubber makes the, in the rubber structure cold will be provided and finally the rubber will be bear fully entirely come out and the water rubbers are flowing in the Again, straight into the spring, and on stage spring, spring will also collide, the spring also corrupt, and what happens? Vibration will be transferred to all sides. Okay, the same thing is going on here. What happens? Yes, so we have to fuse the material steel and rubber. Whether the steel, fusing of steel and rubber is possible or not? Yes, this thing, this analysis will be carried out. Okay, this, the, we can say the thermal analysis. How we can able to fuse to some certain temperature? Okay, you want it to some certain temperature and you want to fit it. Okay. Otherwise, leave it. So I am not going for heating. Okay, I am on the steel. I am sticking the uh, rubber and glue. Whether it is possible. If you stick the glue here, if, if you stick the rubber and the glue, okay, and if the road is applying here, and this uh, so much load is applying here, whether this rubber metal can able to withstand the load, okay? And if we can able to withstand the load, what is the impact of the load to this structure? All the things I can able to make analysis, okay? Okay, sir. So, such analysis, if you find the human analysis, in conductions, again, okay, conduction, convention, what all the things will be analyzed, and dynamic, dynamic analysis. In dynamic analysis means what happens? As like Arjun Singh, okay, as like Arjun Singh and me, around 1000 persons are walking in the side, what happens? Again, okay, the end, around end, so <coughs> at a time, around 50 persons are continuously walking, okay, what happens? We can able to find vibrations, what happens? We can able to find, okay, we can able to find vibrations, okay. And system dynamic analysis. Okay. So using the volume and boundary information, using the volume and the boundary information, it just okay. What happens? We can able to in the, in the CAD CAM, okay, what I said in the Simon software. So if you if you make a model and you give it the structure, structure means you give the volume and thickness, what happens? Automatically, if you make a model with a diagram, again, okay, with respect to length, height, and thickness. Automatically what happens, G codes will be generated and that G code will be transferred to the machine automatically and starts to function and starts to machine the workpiece. The thing is, you are saying this would be CAD and CAD. Okay. So we have separate software bus. We take a final element analysis. Yes, it is possible for 
uh, mechanical materials. Okay, and send up the means to take the materials side. You can able to go far unless it's in the form of the field. If we take the CFD, if we want to make others the fluid side, okay? Yes, it is possible. Okay. So the boundary of the model separates the interior and exterior of the model object. Okay? We have two models, interior and exterior model, yes. Okay. So we have if we have common boundary, different boundaries. If we, if we each is dependent together, what happens? We have to select the boundaries again okay, properly. Otherwise, we will face the problem. Okay. So the object is dependent by the volume space contained within the uptime boundary of the object. So if we have, if we take object, yes, should we have a boundary? The boundary within the boundary only we have the volume. Okay, we have to define all the things. If it is a common boundary, yes, we have to think of it because if it is a common boundary, if your load is there, if you load apply the load, okay, some of the load is partially distributed here and some of the load is partially distributed here. Okay, so what happens? We have to do more concentration, we have to think of it more design constraints in this common boundary. If it is a separate boundary, not a problem. <laughs> think of it as a separate beam and this is behind two beams, beam one. Beam 2, beam 3, and they have a structure like this. Okay, what happens? The load is up, this is loading, we are applying the load. Okay, so what happens in applying the load? Okay, that is a, we have an object 1, we have an object 2, for example. Okay, this is one port and this is another port. And you apply the load, not a problem, this is a separate boundary. Yes, you can able to start. If you apply the load here, what happens? The after the load applied here, some part is put it here and some part is put it here. Okay, so I'm telling some of the primary codes also will be, will be operating this side. So what happens, this is not a problem, but we have to take care of this side. Okay, if we the load, what happens, if we put this side to this side, again, okay? we have to think of, we have to think of a design constraints, it should be work up. Otherwise, we have to face the problems, okay, what we are facing here. Here what happens, we are having a separate boundary, here. Yeah? We are in a separate boundary. Okay? Okay? Then separate boundary and pillar is there. What happens? Then after the pillar, they, they, they exclude the pillar. They have structured the class, they have structured the uh, this classrooms. So within the classroom, what happens? They are in the spring like this to observe the white Okay? So what happens? They are in so if, if you watch the three floors of the fourth floor, third floor of fourth floor, you will not find this thing. After the fourth floor only, again you can able to find this thing. Okay. Okay, first. So we come into functions of solid modeling. If you make a solid model, yes, you have to make a drawing, multi-view drawing, automatic dimensions, automatic cuts, assembly drawing. Okay, you have to make a drawing, all the drawings, this all the drawings are available. Okay. For example, think of it. Uh, if you're going for this side, yeah. You can think of it, this is a model, this is the object. What happens? This object can be split like this. Again, okay? and you have to extrude the model, and you have to extrude the model, and you have to make others separately like this. See, this is uh, this object, this object will be extruded, and make a, you have to make uh, analysis, okay, first of all, for mesh analysis, and find the soil mass, soil, soil model analysis. And if it's okay only, we have to fuse all the object, and they will say that's a single entity, okay. Okay, sir. So, engineering analysis should be that. This is for the student drawing. This is the student drawing side. And then this is the student analysis side. If it is okay, okay, you can go for the student CAD CAM. In the student CAD CAM, what we are saying is this, this is for drawing, okay, and analysis will be carried out. For example, uh, I, am providing, I am providing some complicated structures. I am providing some complicated structure, okay, and I want to mention the complicated structure. Okay, it's possible. This is the cylindrical object. Okay, so in the cylindrical object, I want to provide number of holes for diameter of uh, 0.2. We have the tool of 0.2. So it's possible. Yes, I can. I want to provide five holes. Yes. I want to provide five features. That holes is called as features. We can able to say I want to extend the holes to this end or some extent. This is possible, but. It's somewhat complicated. Am I correct? I want to provide the holes in this diameter. Five holes for, for point unknown diameter. Yes, I'm on that tool, but I can even write the code. Okay, what happens? But we have to take care. Point on diameter, point unknown diameter is very small. I want to provide the hole. So some three holes to this extent and some three holes to up to this level. Certain diameter. Okay, yes, it is possible, but we have to think of it. 
okay, first one you have to provide like this, second one you have to provide like this, third one you have to provide all like this, okay. What happens whether if you provide small one like in this point, whether how much force we have to apply, what is the feed rate, we have to calculate all the things, am I correct? So here, yesterday we have seen the program, I given feed rate is 1.5, 0.5. So roughly I am given the feed, okay? So if, we, if I want to machine this central object is not a problem, we can give the feed of 1.5 2.5, that's for your opinion. But if I want to provide a small hole, small miniature hole, okay? And I want to fit the MEMS, that means the micro sensors, I want to provide the hole pack up correctly. Further what happens, I want to know what is the feed rate, okay? And what is spindle speed, I want to know, is it possible? As a programmer, you can able to you can able to calculate, but it takes some more time. Since you have good experience, you have to say it. Until otherwise, the problem for you. Okay. So what happens if you make a model and if you provide the yes, I'm going to of this features point on point on hold for this section, this section. I want to provide point five holes means yes. The software is having capability. First, you can provide this hole. Second hole, third hole, fourth hole. Then the rest of the speed and fit. Automatically, the software itself will the speed and feed to the controller machine, to the machine model. Okay, that is the apparatus. If you want the diagram, the diagram will be tied over here. Automatically, automatically, the screen will be transferred to the controller to the machine. Okay, and finally, it starts to machine the job. Okay, okay, sir. So, solid models, solid modeling functions. The different ways the user can create solid shapes. Okay, only. <laughs> So primitive creations, Boolean operations, sweep operations, surface operations, engineering feature based modeling and parametric modeling. Okay? So these are the various features, these are various modeling techniques okay? to develop a solid modeling. Okay? So first we are going to see the primitive creations. Okay? Yes, so we have to say, so we have different types of models. Okay? As what we have seen in the last slide, we have different types of models. The cuboids, cylinders, we have spoon, wedge. Okay, and the dollars what that may be. So we have different types of shapes. That shapes will be just like this. Okay, what happens is number is that, number is that. Uh, uh, we are in two blocks. One is vertical block, or one is long box. What that may be. Okay, long box or pyramids. What happens? Pyramid means we have those <coughs> sort of like structures, and we are trying to start two blocks. Okay, what happens? We have to know what is the volume of this thing. What is the volume of this thing? What is the strength? If we know this. Diameter or whatever may be. If you know the dimensions, yes, you know this dimension, this dimension, we can able to apply we can able to make up this. Okay. In this dimension, we can able to find what is the volume, what the volume we can able to find. Okay. When the volume we can go for analysis. Okay. What's the maximum load? For example, this is a pyramid. Okay. Maximum pyramid. I'm doing this thing, but this dimension, this dimension. From this, if we if we execute this project, if we execute this. Object into the software. Yes. What happens? First, we have to the CNC sensors uh, generates. We have to start from here or here or here. And then what happens? What is the speed and feed? Okay. <coughs> so what happens here? Even this is simple solid shapes. Simple mathematics of this. What happens? Yes. This is not solid. This is not solid. What happens? We have some dimensions. We have some dimensions. If you fuse line up our solids, yes, we can able to carry the mathematics of this. That's the thing we are saying. Can be controlled by a small number of parameters and pushing using a transformation matrix. I think so. You are the transformation matrix in robots. What about transformation matrix? How much is transformation? Transformation means changing, changing, change the orientation. Question orientation. What about question orientation? For example, since okay, I am moving from this point to this point. Am I correct? I am carrying the transformation. The question is that. Okay, I'm changing the question from this point to this point. Am I correct? And my orientation is I am focusing here and I'm moving here. And my question is changed. Okay, and my orientation means yes. Okay, so my hand is moving to this side. That is called this question. The question is that, but with respect to that question, orientation is happening. Happening. Okay, that is called this question orientation. Okay. So matrix homogeneous transformation, transformation matrix will be formed with respect to okay, Nx, Ny, N is that. O X, O Y, O X, A X, A Y, A X. Okay, we can able to do it. 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 Do 
Okay, all things are going to show you. Nobody is okay, not a problem. So transformation matrix. Okay, that means transformation matrix means. Okay, what happens if we are in a solid? Like if you are in an object like this, what happens if you are in the dimension, this dimension, this dimension? And if you fit this object and you want to measure the surface, yes, it's possible. Okay, what is the, for example, what is the position before the measuring? Okay, after measuring is happened, what is the thing? What is the position? What is going to be happening here? Okay, yes, it's possible. Okay, so this is the first thing. Coming to the second thing, body dominance. What happens if you have more coordinated parts? We can split the parts into different things and we have to make analysis. Separately, as like this. Think of A minus B, A minus section B, and finally A minus B. Okay. So this is a part of A, this is a B. Okay. If you enter, if you enter this parts, okay. What I said here. So we are in first A and we are in B. If we act like separately, not a problem. What happens? This part should be acting here. This part should be acting here. But what happens? This boundary, it is a common for A and B. What happens? We have to take care of the type of design. Okay, this bond is common to this part and this part. Okay, that is the thing. We can able to extrude, so we can able to split the thing and we can able to make analysis. But if we join together at the time of the design, at the time of the manufacturing, this will, this will, this is going to be joined. At the time of joining, we are if we not make analysis because for this scenario, we will face the problem. What happens? This two of them join together, and if more normal be going to act, what happens? This one will be distorted here, and this one will be distorted here, and we will face the problem. In the structures, in the structure, and in the structure. Okay. So yes, we can able to extrude the, we can able to split the parts, we can able to make analysis. But what happens if it's common part? You can make a separate analysis, and you have, you have to miss again to that, and you have to make analysis. You have to make analysis. As we are saying that, miss some analysis. Okay. Each boundary, each uh, boundary of the object will be joined together, and you have to make analysis. Okay. In the initial stage. We can carry the individual analysis at one stage. After that, we have to miss all that we have missed. Each and every entity, a single entity, a single entity, and we have to carry out the analysis. Okay? So that is called as joint operations. Then, sometimes what happens, this type of job is also generated. Okay? So, yes, see what's happening here. Same thing is here. Okay, this is one object. So, in the object, this is A minus B, this is C minus D. This is such a from this two things. A, actually, this is a model. This is a part A, B, to join to the yes, we can get the thing. C and D, we are getting this thing. And if you use this thing, this thing. Okay, this is a, what I mean, constantly solid geometry. So we add different geometry sections. We have to fuse all the geometry sections to a single geometry, single entity. Okay, so you have to make analysis. What I am saying that here, we have to make a mesh, mesh analysis or mathematical analysis, each and every component. And the type of fusion also, we have to make analysis. Okay. Sweeping operations. What happens? What is sweeping? Yeah, irregular profile. If you take the machine building, what happens? Yes, this is also on the model. This is also on the genre. This is also on the object. Okay, so for this thing, it's very difficult to find the boundary. Okay, so if it's like this, not a problem. It's a common point, and this is a common point. Okay, but if it's like this, it's very difficult. So for this type of models, we have to clear this type of models. For example, we have to find. So we have curved surfaces, but with the irregular profiles. We are not able to find the boundary is possible, but let's put the other side. Okay. What I, what, we are, what I say, we come to this side, what the problem, we can, can, we can able to carry out the mathematical analysis as put to manually. Okay? The conventional analysis, we have to carry out the analysis. If you take structural engineer, yes, we construct the beam for this body, he can able to say what is the maximum load can able to, the beam can able to withstand. But nowadays, software is coming. Okay? What happens? That is possible with the manual side, manual basis. But we come to this side, it is not possible. Somewhat difficult. It's possible, but it's somewhat difficult. Surfaces. Yes, as like chamfering, target drilling, okay, rounding, filleting. It's not a problem, okay? Then, what if we lost modeling? What if we feature based modeling? 
What are my future based modeling? So all the things are being the last slide here. What we have seen is this is a feature based model. What is my feature based model? Huh? Yeah, so what is my feature based model? Assembly. Yeah, one of the products was. For example, I want to fit this. Okay, am I going to am I correct? I want to fit an NDA. Okay, that is a, that is I want to fix this object here. Okay, for that what happens? I'm having some. I want to fix this. I'm having a feature. I'm having an object. In the object, I'm having a feature that is called as central wall. I want to fit that object here. Okay, Again, so what happens? If I make an analysis separately and separately, okay, and I fit in the nut to bolt, what happens? Is it possible to make individual analysis for each for separate nut and bolt? Yeah, I, this is a separate test, this is a separate test. Okay, I want to join this to this for providing nut and bolt. Okay, yes, I am providing net from this side, I am putting a bolt to this side. Okay, to make a design, let's put net here and bolt here, and I make analysis is not possible. Okay, I want to join this to this, and I want to provide the net and bolt to this side, and around 10 days of standing in this space, okay, and then jumping, what happens? What happens? If you apply the load here, where will it transform? Yes. It will transform to this part. If you apply the load to this place, what will happen? It will transform to this side. But the bits join, okay? The, your, this feature is one, the bits you have to object one object to, you have joined to the levels of features, but we have to make a feature also a path. Okay? For example, think of it, we are saying that, okay, all this is exactly correct. We are adding some object, we are providing holes, some pocket drilling, pick drilling. I know what is the big drilling. Big drilling. May open? Why they provide the big drilling? In manufacturing side. So what happens? This is a for example, I want this is job. I want to carry an irregular profile. Okay? Some complicated machine. For example, I want to provide a small irregular profile. What I said like this. In the center part of in the left side of some diameter, left side of some diameters. That's not possible. But means I want to fill the job. Okay? Or I want to rotate the easier axis of the tool. But it's somewhat complicated. What happens? So first the machining will be happened in the outer frame. In the provider that peg drilling. Again, several types of peg drilling. Or for example, if the provider peg drilling one and this side, that small type of drilling, small holes, this side and this side. Same diameter, again okay? the first tool comes here and provide the holes, again tool comes to this side and tool goes to the reference point, again the tool comes from this point to this point and provides the same diameter of the holes, they are provided for what? Exactly correct. Holding of the object, first what happens, this object will be bold with respect to the structure, some structure, holding mechanisms. After that what happens, okay, if I want to carry the irregular profile, this is not possible. Okay, what happens? First, I want to provide the peg drilling, and what happens? We add some mechanism, external mechanisms. The nut will be provided, and we have to provide the bolt in both the two sides, and this will be removed, and it will be tilted like this, and machining will be done. So, for holding mechanisms. Okay, so what happens? That is called as feature. That is called as features. Okay, I am providing the peg drilling in the job, and the, the peg drilling is used for holding the objects to provide the irregular profiles. Okay, but it is not possible the regular structure, the regular holding mechanisms, like so we have a chuck. Okay, the chuck is that we can able to hold the piece like this. What happens? But you cannot be able to tilt the work piece. But what happens here? First, our main structure will be being machined and structure will be removed. Okay, and what happens? The holding mechanism will be brought up in nut and bolt in the both the big drilling hole, and we can able to provide that. And we can able to get the regular profile by the machine. Okay, that is called as features. So, for example, I am providing the peg drilling okay, to hold the forwarding mechanisms to provide the regular profiles. So, you have to make the analysis, you have to make the analysis for the dots, so for that feature also. Okay? So, you have to make analysis, mathematical analysis, okay, for that feature also. Okay? That is called this feature principle. Okay, sir.
last place parameter in only same thing is there. What happens? So if you make a time to 2D sketches, okay, the parameters come from time from 2D sketches, parameters from 3D geometry, all the operation parameters, variables in user equations. Okay, you this is not a problem. What happens? What we are going to is each part into each part geometry. For example, we have a separate part one, part two. So we have a separate geometry, separate geometry. You have to take care of each part geometry. Okay, so each part geometry can be controlled by a small number of key parameters. What happens? It is separate object and a face for construction. Yes, you have to take care. You have to take care of the design. And if it is separate object, yes, what a problem. Okay. So first what happens if you want to fuse these two objects, first we have to carry the design for this object, this object separately, and you have to check if the design is safe or not. After that, if the design is safe, again you go you're going for fusing these two things. Again you check once again by fusing these two things whether the design is safe or not. Okay? So you have to check each and every parameter individually and then go and if you join these two things, yes, it is possible. For example, I am want to join these two desks. Okay, I'm going to let go this side. Okay, I want the I want to check the what is the maximum strength of the letter board. Am I correct? So I, I want to get the tensile strength. After making the tensile strength only, tensile strength only strength only, I want to join this two desk. Am I correct? I find I will find the machine in the strength of the slab. If you take a net, if you take the net, what happens? The iron machine is called as what is the machine? The machine. Iron so many is the rock or all is the am I correct? Then tension machine is the I have knife knife like new team. Yeah. Please do this thing is this that. For example, what sport is applied here? On next time it will be blasted. Okay? So we can have to find this a maximum load. Okay? So even though you carry the analyzers for that, that separate feature, that separate object, and this separate object is going to be okay, fuse this two things to this, then what happens? If you operate the load, operate the load, the entire load will be, yes, this can also be withstand to this, this is also can be withstand the load, that load will be forcefully distributed to where? Because behind the dampers, behind the support, the load will be transferred to the base and some load should be transferred to the net. Okay? At the time also, net, the net and bolt on to have the camera to withstand the load. Okay? That is called as okay. It is a next class. You can see the what is advantage of wireframe modeling, advantage of surface modeling, and solid modeling. Okay. Okay. So if you want to go for design, the design of the piston door, what happens? Solid modeling is best. We compare it to wireframe modeling. Okay. The wireframe modeling is available for some single product or two or three products. Okay. If you have an entire product, okay, if you want to ask for all the products, and if you if you propose this wireframe modeling, it's very difficult. Okay. And wireframe model forms the basis for surface model. Okay. Okay. So without the wireframe model, we cannot be able to create a surface model. Okay. So without the surface model, we cannot be able to create a model. This is the basic thing. What happens? First, you create a wireframe model, and from that wireframe model only you have to extend the surface. Again, okay? and you have to extend the surface from the surface model only. We are we are getting the solid models. Okay? Again, <coughs> and CPU time is taken to retrain, edit, or update a wireframe model is usually small compared to the surface solid models. What happens? Yes, since it is a wireframe, for example, since it is a wireframe, okay, I want structure like this. Okay, I want structure like this. This structure indicates some purpose. Some application that is called as B, for example. Okay, this is called as if you come to civil engineering, this class indicates some structural constructions of structural constructions. Okay, uh, civil engineering to what? One is to this water mill, I don't know exactly. What happens if I if I'm not interested to carry out this by the, this proposal, yes, and I have the rights to change, and I have the rights to edit the things, and I go for the several options. 
Okay. That is possible by frame model. Okay. By from a sustaining of the gaming model, from that by frame model only, we are going to extend the surfaces. That means we are going to frame the surfaces, and from the surface modeling, you will create a solid model. Okay. What happens? Solid model gives an exact picture. That means, for example, you take a building, the building, okay. the elevation should be like the, the top line elevation should be, uh, it should be like what? And if you come in bottom line, bottom line should be like what? Okay. We have to think of it. Okay. But it is very difficult in the life of model. Yes. Right but with that base only, we have to extrude to the solid okay? <coughs> we have to limitate the Y for the first. There is always some ambiguity in the space in 3D model. That's a major, major problem. Okay? It is available for 2D, but 2D we can able to do. 3D model, yes, it is possible. What happens, we cannot able to project. That means that Y frame model is not having the thing to project. For example, it is like this. Okay? If it is 3D model, I want to understand. Because I want to rotate this thing, and in the spirit of trade only, I can never understand. Okay. For example, if you are doing FER lasers, what happens? Each component can be categorized into several components. Uh, each the means each is component means the component behind several elements. Each element is categorized, and each and every element have to carry out the various analysis and kinetic and dynamic kinetic and dynamic analysis as well as stress strain and the thermal analysis. Okay. Each element have to carry the analysis. For that, what happens? We have to segregate the element, means it is not possible the wireframe modeling, it is possible solid frame, solid modeling. Okay. So for that, for example, if you have the structure like this, I want them to they want they want to since this is a structure, we have two elements. This is a base element and this is a top level element. Okay. If we operate the load here, what happens? And then we can able to find what is the maximum stress operated here, whether the vibrations are leading to this side, okay, and then what is the maximum vibration acting on this bottom layer, okay, and if you apply this morph stress, what happens, whether this layer should be damaged or not, okay, as like that, we can split it to several elements and we can able to make analysis. What happens, this is a solid model, okay, the solid model is easy. With the Wi-Fi model, we cannot be able to think. That means it's possible, but it takes some more time, and without 3D model, we cannot be able to carry out the mass property analysis. That means the strain analysis. Okay. The thing they are saying, without the hidden line model, without the hidden line model, object becomes clumsy and difficult to understand the object. What do you mean clumsy? That means yes, unable to see clear. Unable to see. That means, for example, we have to be. Okay, if you are in the beam, what happens? You can able to see the beam. Begin the beam, yes, some structure is there, but you cannot able to view the structure. In the wireframe model, because what happens? All the structures should be in line, should be in the lines as the wires. Okay, so what happens? That lines, okay, what happens? That lines will hide the backside structure of the lines. Okay, the structure of the backside structure also hide some lines. Okay, so we will hidden like the lines. If we segregate the solids, Okay, but it's 3D modeling, what happens? We can able to view and from that we can able to we can able to understand. Okay, that is the this is the model we are going to propose. Okay, we have some ideas. Okay. So the calculation of section properties and mass properties are impossible. It's not possible. Okay. And coming to this limited use in the manufacturing analysis side. Okay. It's just traditional days they use the wireframe modeling, okay, for better not for better understanding. What happens nowadays uh, if we, what I am saying, if we take this layer and if we take this layer, yes, it is possible by frame modeling. Okay, I want to have several components, the single element, then it is the tedious for you, okay, to understand what is going on that object. Okay, so if it is a 3D model, it is easy for you. Okay, <coughs> it is simply to use the manufacturing as a side and presentation of circular roads and curved surface of the world because we cannot be able to view. This is called as features. Huh? Okay, presentation of circular and curved surface, this is called as features. If any feature, for example, I have to project a node like this, okay, what happens is we cannot able to view, okay, I can able to project this node, because even if the line is there, what happens, this front portion will hide that line, I cannot be able to say what is the thing, okay, since I can able to find the hole, whether the nodes are extra to this level or this level, I cannot be able to see, I cannot be able to analyze, okay, that is not possible, okay, the feature analysis, feature analysis will not be possible in the wireframe modeling. An interference checking will be difficult. Okay, that means for two or three more interferences of that, it's very difficult. Okay, it takes some more time and very difficult to understand. If you come into our surface model, if you come into surface model, what happens? Yes, that 
and then we can do this in the interruption of the object is less than the wireframe only, okay? But when you know what happens when you compare the solid modeling, yes, Abigail is less, Abigail is that, but when you compare the wireframe modeling, it is better, okay? <coughs> so by, by using the provision of internal line removals, if you able to surface there, what happens is, yes, you can able to get the surfaces, okay? So even there is a surface like this, okay, of spine surfaces, whether it's your body lines, or that may be. So this is the wires, okay? You get some surfaces, they join these two things. Even though there are so many wires are there, okay, if you join some curved surfaces like this, yes, we can able to find some structure. They call that some partially solid structure. Okay, you can say some partially solid structure, but it's not a pakka solid structure. Okay, solid structure. Okay. So surface modeling can be used to perform interventional checking. That is penetration of one part into another. For example, okay, if we have an element like this, okay, if the holes are like this, yes, when combining the wireframe modeling. You can able to do surfaces like this, what happens? So if it is if you with the diaphragm running, it should be like this. So what happens? The holes, you cannot able to, so holes should be sort of like you cannot able to see what is the uh, what is the diameter of the hole or what is the length of the hole. Okay? But if the surface model, if you give you some surfaces, yes, you can able to say okay, the holes are started, it means we have some features, and that features will be again, okay, for example, if the surface ends like this. And the features like this means okay, you can able to say we have one surface here and we have another surface here. In the meantime, we are having one feature that means is is extruded in the inside the block, okay, for up to diameter up to length of 30 mm and diameter of 5 mm. Okay, we can able to analyze. Okay, so surface modeling is mainly proposed for to avoid, to avoid the okay interval checking. Okay, that means to minimize the Problems arise with the checking in compared to wireframe modeling. We come into limitations of surface modeling. What are the limitations? Can you notice what are the limitations? That is not possible. Okay, if you come into solid modeling, possible. Why? Right? Surface modeling, we are having our surfaces. Okay, the surfaces we cannot able to go on like this. For example, the wireframe modeling, we can able to, from your point of view, from your front, we can able to see this line, this line, we cannot able to view this line. Am I correct? Okay, and the surface modeling, we cannot able to view this thickness, this uh, line, in the wireframe modeling, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot able to see this thickness, this line, we cannot the solid one only can able to analyze what is the thickness, what is the length, and what is the diameter. Okay, so what is the thickness, what is the width? <laughs> what happens? Yes, that is also possible surface modeling. But what happens? What type of surface is going to be act in the back side? It's not possible. But through the solid modeling, okay, what happens? You can able to see the surfaces. Okay, so okay, intermediate surface modeling still have a Compared to the solid model, okay, it is uh, difficult. But when compared to the wireframe model, it is somewhat better. Surface models again more competition time compared to wireframe models. Yes, it's exactly correct. Again, the wireframe model can able to see the skeletons. Again, surface modeling can able to see the muscles. That's all. Again, so but we cannot able to see the structure of the muscle. The main centre structure of the muscle. Okay. So <coughs> coming to third point, most skills required for surface modeling is yes, and mass properties are just mass properties are just weight, volume, and moment of inertia cannot be derived from the surface because Without knowing structure, entire proper structure, that means all length, width, thickness, block of and different manner, how we can able to go far, how we can make an attempt, how we can make an attempt, uh, that's what the mass property is, it's not possible. Okay? Surface models cannot be used as a basis for a fear of this also. Because if you want to carry a fear like this, yes, this should be needed. Again, positive strain analysis. It is not possible. Okay? Once it is not possible, this is not also possible. Okay? And neither internalized can easily removed <coughs> nor information can be easily displayed. Okay? The base, for example, what I say here, we are having like structure like this. Okay? So what happens? We are having internalized. Okay? Some internalized should be like this. This is internalized. What happens? This internalized can be easily removed. If easily removed, what happens? We cannot able to see if it is surface okay. So if it is surface like this, okay. If it is surface like this, and what happens? We have a feature in this component, the block is the component, and the whole you can able to indicate like this in the wireframe model, you can able to indicate like this. Okay, some, some in different structures, some different lines. Okay, but in surface modeling, what happens? If we get uh, in wireframe modeling, we have the lines like this. And, and in the line, okay, 
by varying the by varying the lines, gain thickness on the range structure of the lines, we can able to say yes, an eye to one feature, one mode, to up to certain length, okay, and, uh, and parallel the front view. One line is that, second is all subset or some subset of some segment structure is that. Okay, this is related to uh, front view. Okay, for steel plate, for example, steel plate, you see the that you know, again, come to this side, again steel plate, we have a structure that is called the hole that is extruded up to some certain level. The wireframe only, it is possible. Okay, but what happened is happening. But if you come into this side, this will be minimized, that is, this, this will not be minimized. Again, if you have so many components like this, and I goes like this, and I goes like this, and I goes like this, and Lines like this, it is, it is very really tedious the wireframe model. For the purpose only, if you have surface like this, okay, if you have surface model, what happens? You cannot able to just see these lines, you can able to see some surfaces, some flat surfaces. Okay, what happens? And you can able to view, but what is the major problem is, okay, you cannot be able to see, you can able to see that the mode is there, but you cannot be able to see where it is ended because that inner line will be covered by surfaces. A. But in the wireframe model, what happens? Yes, all the lines should be the skeleton. And the structure of the line, the dimensions of the lines, for example, this is a continuous line, this is a turn line, this is some, some line should be central line. Okay. <coughs> then with the, the difference of the lines, okay, we can able to analyze, okay, this is the act of some pole, some feature in this component, and that features are having the features in, incorporated in the block. This is block up to certain length of the demo diameter. The demo. Uh, then okay, we have to make analysis. But what happens if you have more components? It's very difficult the wireframe only. For example, think of it. Let's say we have another hole. Okay, the gap of 5 mm, the same, the same central line, same diameter, and parallel. This hole is extended up to 30 mm. Are you saying what it is? Then another hole will be extended up to 20 mm. Okay. What happens? We have two holes, the gap of 5 mm. The first hole, which is going to be in the front view, is extruded up to 30 mm. And coming, coming to the second hole, it is extruded up to 30 mm. Is it possible? The way from the front view. As a top view, as a front view, you can able to see this thing, the wireframe frame warning. But what happens? If you come to the next hole, again, the next, the next hole is behind this first hole. And probably the length is two items, okay, we can able to find out. The length is real means what happened. This will be fitted in the beginning this thing. Okay, we cannot able to view. Okay. To avoid that purpose, we went to surface modeling. Okay. What, what, what happens here? Okay. What happens? If you, if you remove this, if you come to surface, this will be like this hidden lines. Okay. What happens? Okay. This hidden lines will be removed. Okay. Because this will be called the flat surface. And if you have several blocks like this, Surface modeling also it is not possible. Okay. Surface modeling also is not possible. Okay. So to minimize the thing, you're going for solid modeling. Okay. So the solid modeling is the best. And if you, if you take a solid modeling, yes, what happens? You can able to take okay. solid modeling, 3D really modeling, what happens? You can able to uh, see the whole for structure, to structure like this. Okay, and I can able to see all up to uh, like this, like this, up to length of 5 mm, 10 mm, for example. Okay. Yes, we can able to create because all these are created by solids, and from the top we can able to see first, we can able to see this whole up to length of 30 mm. Okay, and I can able to see another up to length of 5 mm. Okay, so what happens? So, what is solid modeling? Okay, that have to be stored or less, memory record will, will be less, okay, and parallel. Create fully valid geometrical solid model. Valid geometrical solid model. Okay. It's also valid for fitting wireframe modeling, yes, the valid geometry. That means you can able to see geometrical modeling. Okay. You're coming to this side, surface modeling, that is also geometric modeling. What happens? Uh, I want to make analysis, sustain analysis. I want to keep the exact geometry of the model. That is not possible in the wireframe modeling and the solid model. If we take a wireframe modeling, the structure like this, how we can able to get the geometry? Because one component is uh, identity again this moment. How we can able to get the geometry? Yes, it's not possible. We can get it, but if we get the tentative geometry, 
It's not possible. Okay. So making the analysis is not possible in this wireframe modeling and such as that. So limitation of the solid model. Yes. What is the major thing is more time, computational time, and the effort should be needed. Okay. More computational analysis should be needed. Okay. And when are the models to describe the screen? Because we want to create a model for that we have to work. So uh, it takes some more time and we have to create a model. Once the model is created, then what happens? The model should be okay, easily understandable to the opposite person. Opposite persons. Okay, and if you want to change, for example, as a person, I want to change this person, I want to change this thing from my perception. Yes, it is possible. But the engineer, the design of firefair modeling, and I want to change the design from my perception. And if you cannot be able to uh, understand, then it's very difficult to make changes to the wireframe modeling. It's a first one. But if you make a solid modeling, yes, is it possible to predict and the parallel can able to build solutions, and then you also can able to understand my perception, and you can able to work with that design. Okay. So creating creating flat chamfer and tapering model is very difficult. Okay. But anyway, it's possible. Okay. It's possible. Okay. That means this also a, coming under extra features. Getting flat chamfer and tapering model is possible. Okay. Okay, boss. So design simulation. So, okay, what are the design simulation? So, so far we have seen that what is the system, what are the modeling, okay, wireframe, surface solid, and the solid, solid modeling, what are different types of solid modeling is that, then what? So how we make a design in solid modeling? How we make a design to make a model? So yes, you want to make a design. That is what is so this models can be actually for the design only. What happens? What is the design? As an engineer, what's the difference between you and diplomatic person? A working in company, under you there are five diplomatic engineers are working under you. What is the difference between you as a person? Safety, okay. Mechanisms. Good. So you have to create a mechanism, am I correct? And you have to uh, must to carry out the mechanisms okay? by that you have to follow, you have to fit some sequence, or you have to propose some design. Okay? As for the design, okay, they will execute the same thing. Okay? What and how you make a design? Using mathematical formula. Mathematical formulas. So let's put to let's put to some standards. What are my standards? Design data. Design data. Okay. For example, I want to convert my image in I will know something to And the, so, the first to do, I'm taking an image from the video, from, from the paper, and I put it in the paint. No, I paint. I put it in my paint, and I'm editing something in the in the dia. Okay, and we have to save that file into which form? JPG, JPG, JPG. Then the man, there are so many formats of that. So the paint, you paste the picture and try to and edit it. And if you want to save the picture, there are so many formats of that. JPG. 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 Can you to say which is the best? JPG. That means the JPG file consumes the reduces the memory size of your folder. Am I correct? It is the memory size of the folder. But that should be that should be That means it is not reduce the memory. It reduces the pixels. So once pixels are reduced, memory will be automatically reduced. Am I correct? Okay. But what about the clarity? I will know it or not. As an engineer, if you reduce the pixels, what happens? The resolution will be, the gray resolution will be less. Once the less, what happens? Distortion in the image. Distortion. Hmm? Distortion in the image. Distortion in the image. Okay. Okay, sir. So why I am asking that as a design, as a person, we have to work with that photo means we have to say okay, which format is best. If you take the cat, for example, take the cat, okay, 
Hoje estou muito from TV, TV na trabalho. Estou muito from trabalho. Aí vou querer que quer se não me, aqui. Para mim todos os, aí o estado da trabalho TV, na trabalho trabalho de hoje também. I book the tickets by online. Yes, sir. Not by online means, by internet booking. Yes, okay. So if I, you have to paste the picture and open the ID. Okay. And you have to, you have to save your entire profile. That means uh, in which ID you have to. That means what about your, what about your uh, proof? Okay. In that proof, yes, I am disclosing the driving license proof. And I want to disclose my photo. Okay. If I want to disclose your photo there, you want to accept it. They are some norms. You want to convert that photo into, even though you have to reduce the pixels, that JPG format they got accept. DP. DP something. They have something. They have produced some fast steps. Okay, if you follow the steps, okay, in comparing to pixels will be automatically reduced. And the clarity is also high in comparing to JPG. Yeah. For government exams, for, if you're going for JPG exams, they're following the same thing. Okay. Anyway, so what happens? We have some process. Okay. So what happens? Is some design should be that we have to follow the design. Okay. So it can be used for design solutions. If you take the CAD software, begin the CAD software. Okay. We have kernels. What do we kernels? Interface. Interface. Interfacing of software. Yeah, I think so. You are studying the mechanical system design. Why software is that? Third unit. Okay. Operating system is that. Application software is that. What is the difference between? Application software and the operating system software. Operating operating system is interfacing of application software into the visualization. That means application software will take the data from the sorry. Where is software take the data from the application software? For example, I am working in LabVIEW. Begin the LabVIEW and I am in software. The LabVIEW software, okay? The LabVIEW software will take the data from the real-time system. And this data will be converted into some other formats, okay? And data will be ready to exchange. That means data exchange will be happened between the application software to OS software. Am I correct? Okay? That is called as kernels. Okay? Kernels means interfacing. Okay? There are three types of kernels. Interfaces. There are three types of kernels. Hardware to hardware interface, hardware to software interface, and software to software interface. Can you able to say what is the example of hardware to hardware interface? Yes, you can see in the next slide. So what happens? Design is amazing. Okay. So as a design engineer, you can able to say, I can able to make a model. Yes, good. You can able to make a model. Why? Right? But you can able to analyze what is the thing behind that model. For example, I am making a model. That model can able to accommodate the software. Okay, the software is ready to accept that thing. But I want to convert that data into some other data. Some data into is that of some else? That means I want to track that profile. Okay, I want to take the profile and put it into some other software. Is it possible that software will accept that profile with the existing data? We have to think of. Okay, yes. So you can use for animation assembly works design. Okay. Animation work can be used to understand how a design system works without going for actual modeling. Okay. So the basic is here. What we say animation means you are taking solid model. Okay, so let's put different solids. Okay, and you are making a model that is to be designed. Okay. But what happens? You have to make a design. You have to make a design. There are so many surfaces of that. What? There are so many surfaces of that. Okay. So you have to propose any one surface. Here you can enter the view. Okay, here you can able to see there are so many surfaces of that. See. Okay, so this is the standards, this is the standard surfaces. You are going to refer, you're going to refer any one surfaces. Okay, and you're going to propose the model. Okay, so that should be a design. But what happens? Now, some of the the modeling software provided interference checking using this dimensional can be identified before starting the production activities. Okay? Yes, we have to make a design and we have to make a simulation. If it is working, we are coming for design analysis. Analysis means mass property analysis. It means mass property analysis. Analysis for mass properties and fine element analysis. Okay? Depending upon your interest, you can go, on, you can go for mass property analysis and fine element analysis and design optimization. What is my optimization? 
That is a mathematical side. Okay. So you have to create a model, and the model will be carried out some mathematical with the best competition analysis. Okay. Yes, it should be carried out the design side. Okay. And the coming to optimization, we can able to say what is optimization? Best. Optimization means best. Am I correct? Yeah, avoiding waste. Avoiding waste. Utilization of proper resources. Utilization of proper resources. Okay. No cost. No cost. What is no cost? What is no cost? No costness. More durable. More durable. More durable. More durable. More durable. More efficient. More durable. More durable. More efficient. Okay. So, can you able to say there are so many software there? Am I correct? So, if I want to propose a 3D model, okay, I want to draw some. Uh, 3D model. Okay. Uh, what type of software you can able to propose? Soil also that. Watercolor is also that. Cat is also that. Soil is also that. What type of software you can able to propose? Yeah. Since I cannot able to find the common thing, the so many for so many ways are saying so many so many answers. Who is saying cat? Who is saying soil? Good. We are saying the side loss. Okay. We are saying all the cut. I think another child does not loss. Why you are asking? Okay. Okay. Leave all the cut. It's okay. Since uh, what happens, all the guys are having the awareness of the software. So you are saying that cutting. You are saying that cutting. You are saying the side loss. So I think it is very easy. Okay. Side loss is very easy. But if I want to carry an analysis, somebody is analysis. Which software is this? Yeah. 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 Yeah, since we just since this is also giving more fatigue to you, am I correct? Yeah, let's see. Okay, for example, if I am since we are the professors, most probably are spending the time with the thesis. Okay, for most probably for four to five hours, am I correct? So my my chair should be paka and not lose the impact to my body. If we take the CTS, we take the computer professors. Sorry, the computer computers computer professors. Most of the most of the time they are working with the thesis. Labs or whatever may be, with eight to ten hours. Okay, what happens? Yes. Back posture. Back posture. Back posture and back posture. Okay, back side will be out. In parallel, think of it. Okay, upper limb, lower limb. Okay, arm. Okay, yes, and that should be proper height. And the computer should be proper height. My chair should be proper height. I have provisions. To have paka support for the neck, okay, and finally, so right. think of it. If any problem happens in this line, it will be replicated in all the parts, in back side parts, okay, and slowly it comes the veins, the basically comes the nerve system of the, all the body, okay. Yes, in the things only this is that. So when I focusing that side, okay, only they think of it. When the research is going, let's go to library. Okay, IIT is Chennai. The library is there. Okay, ten years before, the library is ready to problem. Okay, and one professor, Sharma, again famous professor, he started with respect to ergonomics analysis with respect to the library. One day he is working for how many, how many hours, and finally he is taking the book from back to back. Okay, since there are so many things other, so in IIT, can go to the place and take the thing. Am I correct? Okay, in foreign states there are so many. Automates are there. If you press the book and say enter, means what happens? Automatic guideline system is there. AG system is there. Automatically, the AG AG will take the the base, moves from one place to another place, and takes the book and under the book you do. You want to be staying on on only one place. Okay. So what happens? All things are happening nowadays towards automation side. But in the conventional side, you know the there is not our side class, there is not the professor and computer professor class. So many guys are getting the problems. And they're not giving the proper remedy. Okay, they're not giving the proper remedy. If you take the US, take the US, what happens? Okay, 
that should be a physiotherapist in that company and physiotherapists want to guide boss don't sit like this otherwise if, if they will make a request to the company you want to provide a proper necklace to the person or your chair should be like this okay but what happens if you purchase the chair the company have to back close kind of close of amount close of piece but if you take the tcs 25000 employees are working in the company and they have to provide the ergonomic chair what happens this is not possible okay for the in india yes there are also physiotherapists okay if you have any problem what happens they will take it, they will take to center okay and they are promoting them by the of the in the of the yoga okay meditation that one on meditation meditation reduces stress okay to reduce the means to reduce the problems in the nervous systems they are promoting some yoga but it will not give the proper remedy okay so what happens yes when i am making the so i want to make analysis so when i the analysis should be they want to take the readings and they want to make analysis the analysis only possible in software okay that is of course only in toy not in cardia so kind if you have to use software kind of check the rule of rule of limb software rule of limb software okay rule of limb limb we are on software that is specially focusing for the okay specially focusing for the okay ergonomic side okay we can able to make any ergonomic analysis if i starting this around eight hours what is the major impact on my body impact in year year yes we can able to make under this to make able to simulate okay okay boss so what i am saying is proi okay so among the softest proi is best to us for the my perception okay that thing we have to make analysis and that so creating a model and that model is supposed for what type of application okay for that you have to select a software and you have to make a design for analysis and you have to make of the things you have to optimize Okay. Design review and simulation. Okay, once the design analysis of the business is over, yes, we have to we have to refer, we have to think of the training. If we think of the training means think of the uh, data. Okay, for example, an analytical model. The model. This is from my point of view. I am training the model in lab view. Uh, I am training the model in lab view. Fuzzy. Uh, the same model I'm training in neural network MATLAB. I want to say which is best. This is a common model. I'm proposing that. Say I'm proposing the model. Uh, I'm approaching the model with the help of LabV platform and MATLAB platform. In MATLAB, I'm proposing neural network. In LabV, I'm proposing fuzzy net. Okay. But I want to say which system is good. For example, which fuzzy neural is best and that which platform is best. That means which application is best, LabV or MATLAB. Okay. Because there are so many softwares that I want to propose. This for this model, this is best. Okay, I want to carry out my research like this only. Okay, yes. So how we can able to say which is best? Okay, I'm getting results from this point and this point. I want to make a comparative analysis and I want to say by comparing the lab view, my lab is best. Let's put the neuro. Okay. So same thing. For example, I'm taking the lab view for neuro. I'm interchanging things. I'm taking the my lab for fuzzy. Again, comparing same thing. Again, I'm getting the results from my lab is finally consolidated. My lab is. Best, even though it's a complicated application platform for you, MATLAB is the best because you get the results, exact results. Okay, so the design review will be the, this type of review and evaluation will be done by you, and finally, finally, so that means you go for drafting, the okay, final, final dimension. Okay, sir. So activities of computer engineers. Okay, computer engineers. As engineer, what you have to carry out? Okay, design of visual elements, solid modeling, FEA, linkage analysis, dynamic analysis. Okay, so most of the linkage analysis will be carried out on the robotic side and any structural side. Okay, but anyway, dynamic analysis is possible for all the objects. Okay, so design of visual elements. Yeah, as per standards, you have to make a model and you have to carry out the FEA analysis possible for mass property analysis. And find the dynamic analysis. Okay, and so that means you are going to make a design. Okay, you go for computer engineering and drafting. If it's okay, means you go for machining, computer machining. Okay, okay, sir. So this is the difference between the conventional design process and computer design process. In the conventional design process, you can able to find recognition of need, proper definition, synthesis, analysis, optimization, evaluation, presentation. That means this will be done by conventionally. If you take auto-auto software, yes, 
this is done by this convention design process. Coming into this thing, what happens? Okay, regular solid is okay, solid solid is okay, but you can create a model of softness. Okay, create this model of softness and analysis will be carried out. Okay, if you come, come in down, uh, if you take a look at the what happens? Is it possible to carry out analysis? No, but in, in, in solid works, yes, somewhat that. No, I don't know how to carry the analysis. Okay, anyway. So what happens? We have some advanced systems that automatically we can, we can able to carry the analysis, okay, without the manual interruptions, okay, and by the way, we can able to get the Pakka design. Pakka design is there means there is no need to go far again to change the problem, to tune the problem, or to tune the design. Okay, and if any problem is here, yes, you are also going for design, but it is very easy to come and convince the problems, okay. And this is going to be an evaluation which optimizes is best, and finally go for drafting, okay. So this will be overcome by the computer design process with help of some software. Okay. Thank you, sir. So I want to I want to see some glimpses. I want to show some glimpses of the CAD. So new products are designed faster. Okay. CAD can be drastically reduced the number of steps involved in the design process for a particular product. So if you come into advanced process system, okay, you come into manufacturing side, what I'm saying that you come into CNC side, okay, okay. <coughs> I make a request to IV in new tech CNC and probably on the what you request, what you request, okay, if it is possible, not a problem. What happens? Okay, I'm creating and I'm, I'm giving some model, the model will be automatically, okay, the model, sorry, model will be automatically converted into some course and the course will be transferred to the uh okay, including what is that? Inputting this interface, what is up? Inputting this interface, what is up? Okay, there we have a discussion in this class. What happens? This one format is converted to this format. Okay, but what happens? You create a model whether I want to go from this side or this side. This is a model. Okay, I am taking the class. Okay, I am taking the class. What happens? One professor will sit and stand and take the class there. One professor will stand and take the class there. One professor will stand and take the class there. And that is the class. It is effective. It is audible. It is most attractive to the students. Can you do say? So what happens? Okay. So yes, if you come into model, yes, this post that's the thing is going to get an optimization side. And if you have so many components like this, so many components like this, okay, for example, that these are some components. What happens? I'm giving the model to the software. That software will promote this model into the course. The course will be transferred to the real-time system. But real-time system want to know, I bus, I am ready. But what is the first task for? And what is the second task for? And what's the third task for? What is the fourth task for? That means in that system can able to fit the sequence. Yes, this is my first task. This is my second task. This is my third task. This is my fourth task. Am I correct? Am I correct? So, okay, that is called as process plan. Process plan. Okay, the software itself it fixes. Yesterday we seen the lab. Am I correct? First, you have to carry out the turning one. Second, tapper turning one. Third, turning two. Tapper turning two. Why? First, turning one. Second, turning two. Third, tapper turning. One, fourth tapper turning two. Why? I made a proposal like this turning one and tapper turning. Again, come to uh, two more question. Again, I want to carry turning two and tapper turning. You have to carry it first process turning one. First, you have to finish turning one, turning two. Again, jump to tapper turning one, tapper turning two. Why? The means what happens? Production time will be increased. Okay. Turning will be up and from that point itself you can make a for tapper turning. Otherwise, I what happens? Again, you want to bring the tool and turning two will be up and again, you want to bring the tool to the point. Again, you want to bring the tool from, from tap to tapper turning one. The production time will be increased. Okay? That should be optimized. What I am saying that that is optimization level. Okay? That should be optimized. Okay? Level of That is possible the gas software. Okay? The design model can be used to generate, so if you come in NC side, CNC side, yes, the design model can be used to generate NC part program automatically. Okay, there is no need to have the knowledge of NC, uh, NC syntax, NC template. Okay, and CAD is faster than traditional design process, which is also the sort of late time. Okay, 
okay and conventional design designers or draftsman treasures eye yes okay designers or draftsman is treasures eye but is, this is less in CAD environment okay it means that productivity of the design department is getting increased yes okay in the middle design side in the conventional side what happens then uh, in the conventional we take the process industry already this is the class Okay, I will be drawing of this. Take the cement industry of carpet industry. What happens? My father is working in carpet industry. You are the carpet industry. They are in drawing of this. In the, in the drawing of this, all the blueprint, blueprints of the machines will be, okay, all the backup of the blueprints of the machines, they are in the backup. Okay, but what happens in the in the section around 14 employees are working. Okay, slowly it is computerized. Now it is 40 employees are reduced, but they are not reduced. Once the time is over, they are not recruiting new employee. What happens? Slowly, the, all the guys are get retired. Now there are there are only two employees. Okay. In the, the what happens? All the blueprints backup is are in the computer systems. Computer based systems. Okay. What happens? It reduces the thing and that is feasibility. Limitations. Yes, you have to spend so many times. Again, okay, and the evaluation is difficult, somewhat difficult. Install the selected systems and you want to go for softwares. Okay, what type of softwares you have to get the softwares and you have to spend more time and you have to get the training. Okay, Paka training from top to bottom training, then only you can able to open software. Okay, once if the training is proper, you can able to take the system Paka. Otherwise, the training is you only have the good software, you don't have the proper training, you face the problems. Okay, boss. You can see the remaining thing in the next class.